Hello my darlings, how are you diddling? I thought I'd just do um, a bit of a, a quick, well, probably not quick, you know how I start talking and I can't stop. Um, it was once commented to me that I love the sound of my own voice, and yes, I do. I love the sound of my own voice. I can't tear myself away from mirrors. In fact, if I was me, well I am me, and I'm so, I'm so gorgeous, and I love myself, and I, I just love being me. Right, I don't. But that's what some people think. I'm quite happy with myself, but you know, there are a lot of improvements that could be made. This is about the vacuums. I'm just going to show you a few bits of what's going on today, on Wednesday, the whatever it is, 15th of February uh, 2017. So uh, I've had two deliveries. I'll unbox one in this video. I'll answer some questions on, you know, on the comments. So if you've asked a question recently, I might say your name. Um, and we'll just see what's going on. So let's see what's going on, shall we? Right, I've never before done this. I always like to portray as living in a lovely show home and uh, everything is perfect all the time, but it isn't. Daisy's being a bit unnecessary today, aren't you, Daisy? She's a bit clingy, she's having an episode, but she's guarding this box that's arrived. Now, I'll open this towards the end of the video, but what I will say to you, you can guess now, this will be the third time I've unboxed that particular vacuum cleaner, and you'll know why when I unbox it. So everything's a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm trying to fix this. This was out of the pallet. This is... A Hoover Jet and Wash. I've got two of these, but both of them, the pump, although the pump turns on, it doesn't seem to be pumping solution. So I don't know what's up with that. So that's a work in progress. I've been using this of late. You haven't seen me unbox that yet. Is that the one? That's one Santa brought me. What I have been using though, and it's been very surprising, I've been using it with the turbo nozzle that you can buy as an optional extra that uh, David kindly bought me which I unboxed fairly recently, and I didn't think it would work with a 700 watt vacuum cleaner, but it works surprisingly well. I thought it would only be suitable for the uh, like 1200 watt and above machines, but no, that's done a very good job. So I've been really enjoying getting to know my SIBO E1. And, a bit of a mess, don't look. This was delivered today. A Hoover Porter Power. I bought it on eBay, and the bloke who lives in Nairsborough said he'd bring it over. I did ask him at the time, are the extension tubes and carpet and floor nozzle included? So he wouldn't tell me, he just said you get everything you see in the picture. So I asked him again, and he didn't answer me. So anyway, he's bought it, so they're not included. Um, it's an original Porter Power, needs a bit of a clean up, it's the original colour scheme. It does have the box, and this is the box I remember, but it doesn't have the two extension ones or the carpet and floor nozzle. I've got my washing on at the moment, just regular clothes, but also in my sink I'm soaking a vacuum bag. Now I did wash this, so it was, it, can you see the colours coming out of it? I did wash this very carefully in some non-bio liquid and it still looked quite grubby. So. I thought I'd repeat it. Actually, I'm going to take that. I'm going to stop soaking it because it's bleeding too much colour. So, I thought I'd do it again. But this is one of those bags, <coughs> pardon, I'm going to cough, with the Hoover logo on it. But it's come off. And I was very... <coughs> sorry, I'll just have to pause. Sorry about that. I was very, very careful not to, to get near the top of the bag wet in order to try and preserve the Hoover logo. But... It was inevitable it would come off. What I should have really done, oh, is it inside out? No, that's the right way out. It's inevitable that it's come off and it's completely, completely come off. But the bag looks great. It did look still grubby. What I should have done really is got a permanent brown marker and gone over the Hoover logo while I could see it, but it's gone. Never mind. it's still a lovely clean bag. I'll just, after the video, I'll just rinse that and hang that on my line because we've got a lovely warm spring day at the moment. Okay, so on to the, uh, the other delivery today. Now, this apparently should be brand new, unused, but not in the original box. Let me just adjust myself. Well, not myself, my camera, so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, poor Daisy. 
Right. Now, as I say, this has been unboxed twice before. The first time I unboxed it was on my kitchen table ages and ages ago. And I, for some reason, I decided to sell it before I made a demo video of it. So, when I got back into this uh, particular brand, I thought, hmm, I'd like one of those again. And QVC in the UK had them in. So I had another one delivered from QVC, which I also unboxed just a few feet away from where I am now. And Daisy also featured in that unboxing. But when I unboxed it, the caddy was broken. So I rang QVC that day and said, I want a replacement, collect this one. And they did have stocks in, and they were going to send me a replacement. And instead, they just refunded the money. By the time I complained, they'd sold out. So that was that. So this one, hopefully, will be okay. It doesn't have the original box, or said it was going, or said it was going to be in a plain box. I well, the one I unboxed in QVC is also in a plain box. The first one I unboxed did have a full, you know, colour retail type box, display box. So I'm not bothered about the box, as long as the cleaner inside is how it should be, um, all is fine and dandy. Oh good, good, good. Right, it is in a plain box. <coughs> oh dear, it's like parcel parcel. Out of the way Daisy, I'll have to move you darling. You sit on the footstool up there, sweet. Well, there's another box that I can... That's good that I've got another outer box because I've got a lot of vacuums to shift. The boxes are pretty damaged, so that can be used. I have a feeling, though, it says it's a plain box. But I have a feeling that this plain box would have been the box that it would have come in if it was from QVC, and I'm trying to see where to open it. Right, well, I'll, I'll put you out of your misery. It's a shark. A shark it must be here. It's a shark lift around. Now, I emailed the nice lady at Shark, who has got to, Shark have got a new product launch coming up soon. Hopefully, I'll get to see what that is. Anyway, I asked if there's any plans for the UK to reintroduce this model, because I've seen it again in the USA in a blue colour, slightly different, without all the accessories. But um, I was told, no, they're concentrating on uprights and stick cleaners. So this is the instructions. I'm going to do it quite quickly. I'm just going to read on the back if it says, aha, yes it is. I thought so. It's QVC. So this is the box it would have come in. So it is the original box. So I'll do this quite quickly because I've, I, I spent too long on the last one. So looks a little bit grubby. It's not been used, I'll just wipe that over. There is the carpet and floor nozzle. No brush, but you can use it for carpets and floors. I won't unwrap all these at this, this stage. Dusting brush, lovely taupe colour. Short crevice tool. Now this is something I didn't know what this was. I was trying to study that in the, uh, in the pictures of the machine. I thought, well, what's that? I don't remember that. I'm not even sure that this belongs to this cleaner. I think, do you know what I think that is? I'm not sure if it's even from sh a shark product. You know what that is? Can you guess what, what you think I think that is? I think that is from a garment steamer. Now whether it's from a shark garment steamer, I have no way of telling, there's no branding on it. But I think that attaches, Shark did a um, sort of a handheld steamer that came with this, well, can only be described as a, a vertical ironing board. You hung it on the side of the door and then you put your garment in front and then you'd use this Shark thing. I think that's what that's for, you know, because it's got an, a brush. Yeah, so that's nothing to do with this. Turbo nozzle, yeah, unused. Great. I'm glad to have another one of these. I hope it's not the one, because this is from QVC, I hope it's not the one I returned. <laughs> I don't think so, all this, all this time has passed. There's the sharp shoulder strap. And I like that nozzle. That's the, what well, I think you used to call it, the hair snare. That's the sort of little furniture upholstery curtain nozzle. 
you've got your telescopic tube. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the original box, but it's a plain box. So it seems to be everything. Shark lift around a nice big drawstring bag to put all the tools in. The hose. Oh yeah, it looks fine. There's the handle. Oh, I'm pleased to get another one. It wasn't cheap, it wasn't a bargain. But there you go, that's the caddy to store the three small tools on the machine. I'll be pop I will actually do a demo of this, folks. Right. This is what was broken. This was what was broken in the shark, the second one I unboxed. This front part here was broken, if you remember, some of my regular viewers might. So I'm glad to see that it's okay. It stopped the machine from staying on the caddy. It just fell off when I lifted it up. But you've got the foot pedal, which is supposed to release the machine. What else is in here? Oh, oh that's it. It's been pat tested for some reason. Now what I think this is, you know, I, I might be wrong, but one of the pictures on the eBay listing showed a gentleman in a shirt, like business shirt, with this on his shoulder, and he had the hose in his hand, and in the background was some shark steamers lined up. So it looked to me that it might have been, this might have been a sample model from shark, I don't know, but anyway, it looks unused. It always reminded me of some sort of Doctor Who thing. It's a funny shape, but the one you can get now in the USA, I've seen on, I think it was QVC, U USA. It's a blue colour and it doesn't come with half these attachments. But um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail with this one. How do I release dust cup? There we are. That's it. I won't go into too much detail. There is a very tiny little bit of dust in it, <clears throat> but it hasn't been really used. I think they've just switched it on. Well, if you, can, you can see that the filter in the bottom is clean. So yeah, it's, I'm pleased with it. I've probably paid what I would have paid from QVC, but um, yeah, which way does it go on? That way, I think. There we are. So it now fits on the little caddy won't fall off and will re only release when I press down on the foot pedal. So there we go, that's the unboxing. A quick one, I thought I won't go into too much detail with this one. <laughs> I've done it twice before, there's no point. If you want to see the other two, if you're really, really interested in what I do in the other two videos, well, watch those as well. I'll put a link somewhere in this video. I'll put a playlist of shark vacuums, actually. And there's the underside. So you can use it without the caddy because it's got those little feet on it. So it'd be ideal for the stairs, ideal for the car. You can uh, put the shoulder strap on, you could go up a ladder if you've got uh, high ceilings to clean. Um, all in all, I remember this thing is a very good little quiet vacuum. So that's nice to own again, because I've obviously I've built up quite a collection of sharks. Um, but uh, some of the earlier ones, I had a shark navigator in purple, um, also a rechargeable shark I sold. I wish I'd kept them now, because, you know, Obviously, I'm a shark fanboy, so it's nice to have another shark. Right, I'll just finish this video by answering some questions. Right, um, oh, before I um, answer these, now some of you might see my pallet video. I'm still sort of dealing with the aftermath of receiving all those vacuums. There's been some disappointments, some um, surprises. Everything, I've, I've unboxed everything separate. You'll start to see those at some point, not for a few weeks. You'll start to see in my palette series when you see me unboxing each one. Um, the one that you're probably most interested in for some folk is the Turbo Masters. I've got five Turbo Master Total System Electronics. Now, mm, I've op opened two. One I've filmed. Um, there's one that's completely factory sealed, so I'll, I'll open that separately and film that as well. They all probably, uh, well I've seen them, actually I say I've opened two fully, but I've looked inside four. They've all got the probably German plug on. So they work, but there's something dodgy with the electronics. The um, slide control, it, when, you tur when you turn the motor speed down, it doesn't seem to go down very much at all. Um, on the second one I unboxed, uh, 
the lights flicker and there's something dodgy with the electronics. So whether or not just a spray of some switch cleaner might solve that, I don't know because I think if you can get the new electronic module board it'll probably be very expensive. So we'll see about that and I've had to buy a new switch for one vacuum which has come today and I'll make a quick, quick video of me fitting that switch but I won't tell you what that's about yet. Okay let's do a quick Q&A thingy, just answer some quick questions. Here's Shrink David, 1982, who kindly bought me that turbo nozzle. Talking about the Dirt Devil, the, vac the unboxing I've just done, that is completely dead. I bought it quite a while ago, charged it up, used it, and then put it away thinking, when I've got time I'll make a demo video of that. So, in the last few days I plugged it in to charge it, and the lights that should I think it, it glows red and then turns to green. It just pulses red and green all the time and then goes off after a couple of minutes. It won't charge. I need to either go to Dirt Devil or Amazon because it's still well under guarantee and see about either getting a refund or a replacement. So that doesn't bode well for that model. It was only 20 something pound, I can't remember, 24 or 28 pounds, but I'm still not happy that it's not working and it seems to be a fault. Anyway, Dirt Devil, uh, uh, David, my grandmother bought me a kid's dirt devil when I was four or five. It was my size but had a soft bag and I plugged it in and, and it plugged in and really vacuumed the floor. I loved it but sadly my dog ate through the bag. Now you can't pay me to buy a dirt devil but this one seems okay for small cleaning jobs. Well, not really David because I can't use it. I like the little sound it makes, that little bing. Um, I suppose I am a nerd. Well, who isn't? If you're watching this, we're all nerds, aren't we? There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Anyway, I suppose I am a nerd as I get excited about the little things most people can't be bothered with. Well, sometimes the little things are very exciting. And uh, then he's commented, A dirt devil for a dirty devil? Well, <laughs> nothing was ever proven, David. Those pictures were falsified. I can assure you that wasn't me. Somebody had superimposed that head. Anyway, I'm not dirty, and, and you're very cool to say so. <laughs> oh, this is a random thingy, Majig. I don't think I'll mention him. He's new, just talking about uh, Aussie bloke, assuming he's from Australia. Uh, he's talking about my Dyson groom thing, Starving Daisy. Uh, I can't pronounce it. I think you've commented before. You've got a fan. Waz, is it? W A I S Ramani. Ra. Ramamini, Ramani. Why does it take so long to ramp up on RPM? Talking about that big Nilco. Don't know why it took so long, it just does. It's a, a low wattage motor, it's a big motor, and it obviously takes a while to get going in the mornings. Brit Nisheim or Nisham. It would be nice if you could unbox a cordless Henry, it would be. And that is on my to-do list, but they're 300 pounds and they're not quite available at the time of making this video. They will be available soon. I like the look of it. I think it's based on the compact Henry body shape. And officially in the UK, you can't really buy the Henry compact like you can the Hetty. So the new cordless Henry is based, I believe, around the smaller Henry shape. But it is quite expensive, but it would be interesting. It is something that's on my radar and I will look into it, but it's a lot of money. Olivia Morton, is it your mum's because you have the blue carpet in your bedroom? That's referring to my Vaxair cordless cleans the whole house video. Yes, that was in my mum's house, but she's had an offer on it. Stop press. Yesterday she's had a cheeky offer on her house, and so there's going to be a bit of back and forth, so maybe that house that I recorded so many videos in from years ago will probably soon be gone but uh, my mum will be moving into hopefully a nice brand new smaller house that will be easier for her to clean, heat and uh, maintain. But yes, that was taken in my mum's house. Quite a few videos have been. Oh, Sh Shwestern Harry. Hi, a question. Which upright would you prefer for older people? My grandparents. Well, I can't... I hate getting asked, what's the best vacuum? What's the best upright? What's the best cordless? Because I don't know. I haven't used them all. I can only show you what I've used and give you the results I've found in my house. So I can't say what the best vacuum would be for an older person. Assuming you'd want something light 
if you are elderly, you're not, you won't want something big and heavy. So maybe even one of the better cordless vacuums, but I really can't answer that. Jacob Bates says that video of me doing the Vax Air cordless cleaning the whole house, is he not? He's on Vax's website. Well, I spent quite a while on Vax's website and I can't find it. So if you'd put a, a little link under there, Jacob, I might have been able to find it. But um, as long as it's, they haven't copied it, as long as it's a link to my video, that's okay. Camille, Camille Ledoux, is it? Ledoux? Ledoux? D-I-B-A-Z-I-A-C. D-I-B-A-Z-I-A-C. Oh, how do you pronounce it? My four-year-old grandson turned me onto your channel. He's obsessed with vacuums. Imagine my delight at finding a channel that we can both enjoy. We watch you all the time for hours on end. Oof, crikey. You are very funny. I'll be looking forward to the demo of this little dirt devil. Well, only if I can get another one. At that price, I could buy one for my grandson. I think I'll go and check Amazon now. Well, if you have checked Amazon, Camille, you'll probably find it was around £68. That was last time I checked. It's not worth that. Brian again from Canada. Thank you, Roger Tronic. Question. How does one shut off the brush roll for bare floor cleaning? Is there a button somewhere? I don't think you can, to be honest. Um, there's a two-speed button, so possibly, I can't recall, I think you may use it in low speed for bare floors, um, or not at all, but you can't, as far as I remember, you can't turn the brush roll off. Matthew Reader says, we turn it now, most of them are junk, loud and don't filter well. Well, it probably will get, in, that's the dirt devil again, will be getting returned, because it doesn't work. Ravi W, that's pretty good, referring to the dirt devil, but I still love my Kirby G4 vacuum. Ha, 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 Well, I'm glad you love your Kirby, and you've spelt it wrong, so you can't love it that much, can you? You've, you've spelt it Kibri, my Kibri G4. CC. CC Tat at 4 minutes 44 seconds, I think he's making his own language, lol. I'll have to check that, that's unboxing a SIBO head. The one that was from the bottom of a pond and I was cleaning it up. It's amazing how people are finding my older videos and commenting on them. Paul Illingworth looks just like the Vax Dynamo, 25.2 volt other than colours. I purchased recently for our camper. I know TTI Group own both brands, the Vax's lithium battery. Difficult to say if the Dirt Devil has a lithium battery. Keep up the good work. I wouldn't have thought so, Paul. I think the Dirt Devil has the old-fashioned type of battery, which is why it's completely dead. Speaking of rechargeables and vaxes, there is an offer at the time of making this video. It's still on in the, if you're in the UK. Uh, if you go to Vax's UK website until Monday, the whenever. What date are we on now? Let me check my calendar. I'm thinking of getting it. I'll just tell you what it is. It ends on Monday the 20th, I think, of February 2017. Vax currently have an offer for their Vax cordless upright plus the cordless handheld for £79.99 delivered. So I think that's pretty good, especially as the, cord the Vax cordless upright comes with the two batteries, which are about £80 if you buy them on their own. You don't get a battery with the, the handheld, but the batteries are interchangeable. Now I've got a third battery because I had to chuck away my cordless floor mate because it went kaput, but I kept the battery. So I'm thinking I might get one of those again and see what it's like, because I sold it, the one I had before. Deep Sing on the Dirt Devil Handy Clean. Get the power due. I think that's a spelling mistake. I don't know what that is. Noel Haig. I don't want to burst your bubble, but didn't Jane Fonda do a vacuum workout video in the 80s? I, well, if she has, send me a link if it's on YouTube. I'd love to see Jane Fonda in a tight leotard, lifting, lifting up a couple of vintage 80s Hoover cleaners. I wonder which ones she'd use. A couple of concept ones, perhaps. They'd be quite heavy for Jane. She'd certainly build up her upper body strength, lifting a couple of concept ones over her head, wouldn't she? Anyway, because I was talking about, joking about doing a vacuum workout video. Anyway, using a vacuum cleaner is the only way I could suck my stomach in, says Noel. P.S. You can never have too much Ibeziyekaig. Well, you say that, but there's certain people who live in this house probably have had far too much. But, you know, people get who, what they deserve in this life, and I've said, you deserve me. Nicholas Wheeler, Nick in his posy top. Um, 
Yes, I was only joking, Nick, if you're watching, about, you know, offering you a Turbo Master for, you know what, I'm not really interested. Thanks, for, and I know you wouldn't be interested anyway. But people are doing an awful lot for a new Turbo Master, I can assure you. Good for 24 quid. It's not the usual creaky and roughed edge stuff Vax would churn out. As you say, say it seems quite solid. Well, it did seem solid, and the build quality was okay. It just doesn't work. Connor Shannon, nice Vax. This is the Dirt Devil. My Labrador dog gave birth to eight pups, four males, four females, so I bought a shark vacuum. Loved it. Well, I hope, Connor, that you've also got some sort of a carpet washer, because those puppies will soon be getting out and peeing everywhere, I know from experience. James Dunn, hello, I Basiac. Don't know what that's about. Leo Bart Bartolo, will you unbox as a noosey hoover? Possibly, possibly, but probably not. Uh, da -da, crush. Crush you 2 d says it's from China. Hotpoint Aquarius 99, could you do an older Dyson video, please? Possibly. I've been looking at getting a DC-01. The ones I like the best, though, I think, if I've got any more Dysons, will be a DC-03, um, a DC-18, and possibly a DC-15, if I was to, to get do do. Billy Richards, how's the dogs and you? I'm fine, thanks. That's one of the dogs. The other dogs is upstairs on the bed. Keeping well away. Grumpy Man Reviews. Yes, guessed it was made in China. California. Oh. Everything is made in China. Not everything. Did it eh? Ira Todd. Thought it could be Canada. No. Wizard Dolphin 84 was so early. Deborah Wheeler. Oh, I think they, I don't think this is a, a fan, a fan of vacuums. Just wants to buy a Bissell Power Glide. Well, if Deborah Wheeler's watching, I really wouldn't buy a Bissell Power Glide. If you're buying anything, I'd go for a, a Shark, to be honest, in that sort of price bracket. Uh, oh, CC Tat again. Thought you might find this useful. Just found out George's hoses fit on Henry and Hetty too. Yes, I know. Thank you for telling me, but. I've had quite a lot of uh, pneumatics and I do know that they're interchangeable. Um, could be useful. Oh dear. Oh, bit of a hater this one. Accusing me of lying on my Vaxair silence video. This vacuum is quiet like I'm an angel. Why do people lie in front of the camera? I said. Well, I said, it's hard to judge the sound of a vacuum cleaner from a tablet, phone, or whatever you're viewing the video on. I can assure you that the vacuum itself is quiet compared to the majority of other vax cleaners until you add the noise level of the powerhead. I have no reason to lie about this vacuum, and I couldn't give a <coughs> if anyone decides to buy one, and I, as I have nothing to gain. I always give my honest opinion in any video I make, but it's just my opinion and people should make up their own minds when they spend their own money. Have a nice day and I put lots of lovely kisses. And if you follow me on Twitter, you may know what those lovely kisses mean. But they don't mean that. Da da da. Bruce, Brucey Solomon is bursting to see my review of the new E1. Well, you've just seen a quick glimpse of it. It's a good one. Um, I would, I'm still going to get the Powerhead version at some point, but that's really surprised me um, with that turbo head. The 700 watt powered it very well. Tommy, Tommy McMurtry, Tommy McMurtry, I have a fun idea for you. Why don't you test the different styles of Vax wash heads and see which one cleans better? I always find that the older Vax heads clean so much better. Maybe you could put this to the test. Well, maybe, Tommy, but. <laughs> I've got so much more to do regarding, you know, just... <laughs> she's a bit clingy today. She's a bit... She's having one of her little moments. Um, you know, if I manage to give up work entirely, I'll have time to do that, but I'm afraid something like that, because the other vaxes I've got are way somewhere at the top of my garage. I've no idea where they are. But it's, um, it's something I can consider. Uh, oh, Daisy, please. 14th Doctor. There's a lot of Doctor Who fans like vacuums. Don't know why. Can you do an unboxing of the Henry Extra, please? Well, yes, I can and I will be because I've got one fairly recently. And if you watch my Facebook page, you'll see that I've got one because I put a picture of it. So I will be. Not because you said, because I already had one. But that will be coming out. Oh, your breath, Daisy. Olivia Morton says, I look so young. Not now, but on the video I did for the Hoover Turbo Master. 
in uh, some service tips I did. That's one of my older videos. 14th Doctor thinks we left the EU. Well, we haven't. I was told the 14th Doctor. We've left. We haven't left the EU yet. It'll take at least two years to leave the EU. Oh, Daisy. Can you go off? No. Will you be selling this Hoover? That's my Electrolux Excelio. Not at the moment, um, Mohammed. Paul Stewart. This is about my Hoover Zarion. Looking very savvy do. Savvy do in your green t-shirt and gorgeous green socks. Great looking vacuum cleaner. Very much let down by the horrible standard Hoover dusting brush. That's the very same tubing that's on my Hoover Sensory 2300 watt pet cleaner that I can't get another dusting brush to fit. Wonder if you have the same problem as me. Actually, puts me right. Read more. Get off. Crazy. Right off using the cleaner. Oh, you really do smell. And you've been on special tooth cleaning things as well, haven't you? <sighs> Paul again. Hi, Roger. Absolutely hate. Well, he's commented on my Zarion, and then this one's on the Pure Power Cylinder. Now I'm going to get not. I'm going to get cross. I'm going to get cross with you. I don't like it when she's like this. She gets all clingy and won't leave me alone. Now stop it. Come on. Just grow up. Oh, Daisy, I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> Absolutely hate the Hoover Standard bu Dusting Brush that comes with their vacuum cleaners. Personally, oh no, I'm not reading that. <laughs> Naughty. I'm not reading that. If you want to read that, you have to be an adult. I'm not reading that out. Can you, hi, review the Mila Blizzard, please. At least they've got a please. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your name. The Mila Blizzard is on my list. They're too expensive at the moment. I'm going to wait a bit until they come down. I'm not paying that price for them. And I think Mila really have sold out of it. Obviously, they've got to make things that sell, but really. Harry Gamer, can you do an Easy Care 40 with Eco Perfect in your Bosch washing machine? Well, yes, I've done one. Thanks, Harry. It was great. Um, cars and vacuum cleaners. I love my E3 Premium. Have you done a video on it, cars and vacuum cleaners? I'll have to see. You should, if you haven't. Will Vazok would like to see you demo a Dyson DC-17 or DC-28, but they are US-only models, unfortunately. Well, that's not going to happen, then. Uh, Ted. I think I've mentioned Ted before. Ted Bazowski. I can't believe I haven't seen this until now. Good demo. That's for the Vax Floor Mate Freedom that's now defunct and gone to the tip long ago because it just stopped. Um, da -da -da. I think that's about it for today. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but. Oh, yes, I want to have a word with you lot in a minute, actually, just to say what's coming up and um, do break. And Jonathan has said, TJ Hughes, sadly, is pretty much a dying company. Well, they're still online. I know they closed a lot of their shops, but they still seem to be online. And you can, if you walk, uh, look at TJ Hughes' website, where I bought that Zarion, they occasionally do some pretty good offers. I think the, they've got a Hoover Curve, which I'm not really bothered about getting, but I think that's quite cheap at the moment. Hoover Master doesn't like the floor tool on the Zarion. He's impressed with my colour coordination. That was a pure fluke. Oh, I'm not mentioning that. That's, that's he's taking, he's blaspheming, and he's he's saying some rude things. So I'm not going to mention that. Um, da -da. Dad and Jake's videos. Well done. Looking forward to more videos. That's when I'm, I've got my big haul. All right, I'll just finish off in a minute because it's getting getting too long now. Noel again, another great video. For this is the Zarian. Just one question: Is it by chance you have coordinated socks and tops to match the vacuum, or do you purposely have to buy them? Well, sometimes Noel, it's just a complete coincidence. You know, I just fling on anything and then think, oh, I've got that vacuum tom box, and you know, it's spooky how it sort of all comes together. But. Um, what normally happens is I, um, well, I'll tell you the truth. Shall I tell you funny or the truth? Well, well, I do. I, I did mention this to somebody. I do take a lot of vacuum cleaners with me when I go shopping in a big trailer. And I, t I get one of my servants. So I go into the store. It's like pretty woman, but they don't chuck me out and say, you're not welcome here. They see me and think, ooh, commission. 
Let's have him. He's got loads of money, which I haven't, but some of you so-and-so think I do. So I don't. Uh, but anyway, I go into a shop and then I say, see a top and the socks and think, hmm, that might match my Hoover Turbo Power 2 or, oh, that might go with my Sensotronic, whatever it is. So then I get the servant to say, bring me this, Jeeves, and he comes out, holds it up next to the outfit, and if it goes together, I'll say, right, I'll have that. So that's, uh, that's what I do, Noel. Oh, Patrick, hello, Patrick. Oh, I keep me, I've, I've got to email Patrick. Keep meaning to do it. He's got the Hoover Cruise version of that Vac Slim Vac. Yes, I knew you had. Oh, it's talking about the iron. I haven't used the iron. I'll do a video of using the iron at some point. I just haven't got had the courage to uh, plug it in yet. Mm. Da, da, da. A vacuum cleaner with a gun? No, I don't want to. I haven't thought of renting a rug doctor. I've just vac just shampooed this carpet uh, with my Bissell. I'm not paying out to rent a rug doctor, to be honest. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, that's, I can't read that. It looks like it's in Arabic. Oh, I think that'll do. Um, I can't. I can't. I'd be here all day. I need to answer some of these people anyway. But uh, who's that shouting outside? Right. Oh yes. Okay. That's it then. So hello to all all the um, younger vacuum fans as well. Um, I must make you a video some point and say hello. Oh, that Bosch is going to be bleeping until Kingdom Come until I turn it off. So, right. What's going forward? My va my um, channel has been far too unboxing heavy. I know it has, and not enough reviews and demos. So what I plan to do going forward, and it's not going to happen quite soon, but going forward, I'm going to go back to three videos a week, hopefully. So this is the plan. Mondays, I plan to have unboxings. Wednesdays will be just videos like this, just random videos, chatty videos, shout outs, or possibly the odd toy vacuum, toy washing machine, or other little vacuum related curio. I also might start showing my brochures, because some of you like that from the... Um, advent videos that killed me. So that will be on a Wednesday. So unboxing Monday, fun and frolics on a Wednesday, random but all vacuum related, and Fridays will be demos. That's, that's the plan going forward for my channel. Now I've got about 10 videos that are currently on YouTube that are private. I just want to get rid of those. Get Well not get rid, but put them out there. And they're mainly, un well they are all unboxings, and they're unboxings I've done ages and ages ago. So you'll notice that um, uh, my, my belly goes in and out in a lot of the videos because I've recorded at different times of the year. So sometimes I might have my winter belly on and sometimes I might slim down. So that's probably why. So I don't have a glandular problem. It's because they're being recorded at different times. So over the next few weeks, I do plan to do you a demo. I've not finished it, but that's the plan to finish it this week. So you should get a demo this Friday. Monday will be another unboxing. Wednesday might be another unboxing, unless I can think of something else to do. And hopefully next Friday, Friday after next, will be another demo. So that's what I plan to do. Please bear with me. If you don't like a particular video, move on. Don't thumb it down because it's not what you want to see. There's plenty of people I subscribe to, well not many, but there's some videos they put out I'm not at all interested in. I flick through them and think, ooh, I didn't really like that. But I don't even dream of making a comment or thumbing down. I think, no, I didn't like that one, but I'm sure the next one I'll probably like, or the one after that. And, I've, and I remember the, all the videos I've liked in the past from people I subscribe. So I don't, and I don't pay for these videos as you don't pay for my videos. So just, if you don't like it, move on and hopefully you might like the next video. That I'm not going to worry anymore about what people like and don't like. I'm just going to carry on doing what I've been doing for the past I don't know how many years. And if you don't like it, just don't watch. But, you know, a lot of you do like everything I put out, but thank you for that if you do. Um, but even even you hardcore fans, there must be some things you don't particularly like. But anyway, hope you've liked this quick chat. Oh, Daisy. Oh, I think, yeah, she's got... Mm, I think uh, she's a bit impacted down below. Did you want to know that? Poor Daisy, mate. I can't show you Molly, she's upstairs as I say. I've got to stop that Bosch from beeping. I'll be off, I'll just upload this, maybe add a few pictures for visual interest. 
and um, hopefully Friday you'll see a new demo video. I won't tell you what it is, you'll have to tune in at 5pm. So until the next time, if you've got any comments, questions, ask them below, please thumb up, please subscribe, please click on the bell icon and then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. So, for me and a very clingy daisy, it's goodbye and have, have fun vacuuming. See you soon.